Uh, hello, everyone. So um, right now we will uh, continue our discussion on international agency and we will focus on bilateral international agencies, non-government organizations or NGO and other uh, agencies that operate in the international uh, um, sphere. So bilateral agencies such as the Australian Agency for International Development or the Danish International Development Agency or the United States, United States Agency for International Development, they are bilateral agency and they primarily <coughs> work on development assistance um, uh, sponsored by developed countries and they work with low income and middle income countries to ad advocate for economic and social development. Um, they're involved in advocacy, knowledge generation, as well as financing. In here, in this table, you can see five such bilateral agency and their specific originating country. So um, uh, from Australia, we have the Australian Agency for International Development, also known as Australian Aid. From Denmark, we have the Danish International Development Agency, also known as DANIDA. From, <laughs> from Netherlands, we have the Netherlands Development Cooperation. From the United Kingdom, we have the Foreign <coughs> Commonwealth and Development Office, uh, Office or FCDO. And from the United States, we have the United States, United States Agency for International Development or USAID. <clears throat> so as an example of bilateral, uh, of a bilateral agency, USAID, which is the United States Agency for International Development. This agency provides economic development and assistance for the advancement of US economic and political interests overseas. US aid carries out US foreign policy by promoting broad scale human progress. At the same time, it expands stable free societies, creates markets and trade partners for the United States and fosters goodwill abroad. Um, an underlying um, operation or theme for US aid is to work with specific countries where there is interest for the United States uh, to uh, send humanitarian aid there through US aid so that uh, specific uh, um, economic uh, improvement can be, uh, can be gained by selling US products in those countries or uh, building uh, diplomatic ties with that country for uh, political, for global political purposes. Um, on the other hand, uh, there uh, will, um, from bilateral agency, we can now shift to uh, non-governmental agencies. These non-governmental agencies, also known as NGOs, they're very important. And here well, I've selected um, six, six, six such agencies um, that, <clears throat> and the specific country where they are originating from. So from Bangladesh, we have the building resources across communities, also known as BRAC. From France, which is a funding member for Doctors Without Borders, Switzerland, uh, we have International Red Cross or Red Crescent. From USA, which is a founding member of uh, CARE, also known as Cooperative for Assistance and Relief Everywhere. From the United uh, Kingdom, we have Oxfam. And then from the United Kingdom again, we have Save the Children. As an example of uh, NGO, BRAC um, um, is uh, uh, such an, uh, a, a very big NGO. It was uh, founded in 1971 in Bangladesh. It is the largest NGO in the world and it is involved in the national development work. It, it reaches 100, more than 110 million people and currently works in several countries in Asia and Africa, including Bangladesh, Haiti, Pakistan, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Uganda, South Sudan, Philippines, Afghanistan, and Tanzania. Bragg's idea was simple, but yet radical. Its idea was bring together the poorest people in the poorest countries and teach them to read, think for themselves, pool their resources, and start their own businesses. Uh, it works in areas of human rights and social empowerment, education and health, economic empowerment and enterprise development, livelihood training, environmental sustainability, and disaster preparedness. Women and children take their priority. That's the main priority focus. Another example of NGOs is Doctors Without Borders. 
it here says doctors without doctors. It should be doctors without uh, borders. Um, um, best known by its French name, uh, Medicine Sans Frontiers. It is based in Brussels, Belgium, and uh, umbrella organization made up of affiliated groups in 18 countries. Uh, and, it works, and it works more than 80 countries worldwide. It is best uh, known for provisions for health services following humanitarian crisis and its commitment to political independence with medical ethics and human rights at its core. Another example of an NGO is Save the Children. It is founded in the United States, currently works in 30 countries, seeks to contribute to individual and community self-sufficiency. It particularly uh, pays attention to well-being of newborns and children and reproductive health and HIV AIDS are some of its ma main program. Other important actors beside the one that we mentioned are foundations such as the Rockefeller Foundations, the Wellcome Trust and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations. Um, all of these foundations, they focus on different aspects of global health or uh, global economic um, and development um, work around the globe. Um, they are a source of significant funds um, that support uh, their uh, missions. Uh, we also have research founders such as Focus on Doing and Funding Research, uh, Gates Foundations, Wellcome Foundation, Howard Hughes Medical Research Institute, um, as well as U.S. National Institute of Health, National uh, Health and, and Medical Research Councils of Australia and others supported by national governments as well. They all have a focus of funding research around the globe. There are, in addition, different think tanks, mostly, uh, uh, mostly in universities um, and uh, other specialized technical organizations um, uh, such as the CDC um, and uh, uh, all of these think tanks and organizations, as well as universities, they work in different aspects of global health, environmental health, as well as economic development around the globe based on their specific missions and visions. So I hope that this quick introduction to uh, 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 additional international agencies that have a strong role in global health, environmental health, and they operate around the globe for the betterment of human societies and development of the human, uh, of the um, development of projects in different countries was useful to you. And um, please do not, please do remember to subscribe to this channel.